2016 saw the 26th running of one of the most gruelling cross-country rallies in motorsport. A week-long trek for cars and bikes through the desert terrain of Abu Dhabi had attracted an international field of drivers and riders, including desert rookie Mikko Hervinen. The Finn is more famous for a different kind of rally, as for more than a decade he starred on the stages of the World Rally Championship. I did uh, rally in WRC level for 13 years, most of the time for Ford. We got a few victories and we were fighting for the title a few times, but just missed the title every year basically when we got close. We lost it one year by one point, but we got close anyway. But yeah, 13 years in rallies and then uh, I retired from that about two years ago and now uh, trying some new adventures and driving in the desert now. It's a lot different than what I'm used to. The way I grew up, driving in a snowy, frozen lake to come in the desert where it's hot and sandy, you can't really get far in the other end of the terrain where I've been used to driving. While Hervinen certainly knows his way around a rally car, he doesn't yet know his way around the vast stretches of Abu Dhabi's empty quarter. And he and co-driver Michel Perrin don't have all the tools of the WRC. When you go into the desert, you, know, you don't have any roads. You have a kind of a rough direction, which direction you want to go, but uh, you have to try to read the dunes a little bit. Which is easy enough to go, and is there going to be any bad drops or, or ditches or holes there? It's more adventure in a way. In rolling, we always have pace notes. We recce the stages we do two times, so we, we know all the time exactly what's behind the crest and what's behind the corner. Here, we don't have pace notes. I mean, co driver are giving us some information, some really bad places, but uh, it's not even close to the information we have in rally. Day one, and while the fight at the front is between Herman and Saudi teammate Yassid Al Raji and Qatari 2008 winner Nasser Al Ataya, the Finn makes it safely through almost 300 kilometers of sand and dust and is beginning to find a rhythm. It's very difficult to go over the dunes in a way, and there's always the moment when you see only the sky. So you just have to wait, hope that it's not two meter hole behind it, that you don't get any speed for the next one. It's really cool and, and difficult in a way as well. And of course, the more you do it, you learn to read the dunes a little bit. The best feeling and the most fun thing what you can do is that you're surfing on the top like it's a wave in the sea. It's fantastic. The event has a number of categories and while Hervinen is in the car class, he has more than a little respect for those bold enough to take on the desert on two wheels. They are absolutely insane. Going in the desert with the motorbike, I can't even imagine how tough it is to be exposed to the sun. And physically, it's even harder. You are going up and down and you have to control your bike. And in the soft sand, it's quite easy to fall down. Those guys are really incredible. I really respect them a lot. But they are doing what they do. It's really amazing. By day three, the 35-year-old has worked his way from seventh to third place. A podium finish is beginning to look a possibility. Not bad, I'm, I'm quite happy. You know, a um, couple of really tricky places and we had to reverse two times, but we didn't lose so much time on those, so I'm happy we didn't get stuck properly. The next day, the rookie finally nails it, taking his maiden stage win. But the 250 kilometer run has left him too exhausted to speak. On the final day, Toyota's Alataya drives home his advantage to confirm victory in the event, leaving mini driver Al Raji in second place. But Hervinen has done a lot more than just survive the challenge. He has ended up joining the desert specialists on the podium. Really happy how it ended up. Like it was really tough weekend and some of the days I, I couldn't even walk after the stages, but you know, we managed to get through and got a lot of experience. We had a good result, so we are really happy about it.